Hey guys, it's more death. As you can see, I'm running Windows 8. It's very nice. It's 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 nice for me. It's faster. I have a touchscreen monitor, so it's nice, but I just use the mouse. It's a lot more efficient for me. I game. Oh, you see that picture? It's very nice. Um so I'm here to today to talk about the problems for the D DV7 6135DX. I took it out of the closet. I upgraded it to Windows 8. This is what you see right in front of you. And I got to say, when I tr first upgraded it, and a lot of people have this problem, Windows 8 has a tendency to use its own drivers or drivers that gets it, it gets from uh, uh, Windows Update. And it will use the 7400M series which is the 7470M is just a rebranded 6490M maybe a couple megahertz higher but it's still the same thing and it won't work the card will not work because the digital signer or the signature on the driver is different than the 6490M so you have to un uninstall that but you cannot put the Windows 7 driver on because it won't work again so what do you do? Well, I found a forum, and I'll show you show you what I'm talking about. Here is what you're gonna see when you go on the website, right? And yeah, I normally put 64 bit because no no one in their right mind does 32 bit Windows 7. You go to gra graphics here. You have the AMD high definition graphics driver, right? Well, it, you can see it supports the 7470M, but this this driver came out in 2011. This is the driver that I was using to show my other video with the BIOS. That's the dri graphics driver I was using. But there's a new graphics driver, but it's not on the HP website. It took somebody else on a forum to compile a list of all of the new drivers for our computer. Now... If you followed my other video, you don't have to upgrade the BIOS for Windows 8. That's fine. Just upgrade the computer. Uninstall the old drivers. I'll show you how to do that right now. Sorry about the lag. It's debuted. It's retarded. Some, some things just don't work for Windows 8 right now. So you'd go to de Device Manager. Let me load that. That I don't have a driver yet, and it came off the same page, but it doesn't. It's got weird functionality. I don't use the WiMAX, so if somebody could tell me if the WiMAX works for Windows 8, if their experience has been good, I'll use it, but I haven't tried it yet. To uninstall, you would go to said driver, properties, driver, uninstall. If I uninstall this, it'll reinstall it with the old 7400M series you know crap that it put on before I had to downgrade it to 6490 because that's what it is alright to get the right driver go to the link in my description and you'll see this page it was updated February 3rd that's nine days ago and it covers a slew of SKUs so it's not going to be just for the DV7 6135 no it's for the dv6 dv7 the nv but you go you gotta go all the way down here all the way down here to it where it says amd radeon graphics and then you click the one appropriate to your model which this would be it for our computer Go to Windows 8 64-bit because no one's going to run 32 -bit. If you're running 32-bit Windows 8, I will shoot you in the fucking face. Alright. Besides that, it's a Dece it's December 12th. I don't think the, uh, the signature on the driver is December 12th. I think it was released in October 12th. But that's a full year after this driver was released. I even tried installing this driver in compatibility mode. It will not work. Trust me. So you download this driver, install it, and profit, I guess. There's no other problems I've seen with this. If you have a problem, comment below. I'm, I'm going to link this video to 
the other video that I did, I think it was in 11 when I first got the laptop that when I did this video. I'm sorry it's been so long, and I have been done a tech video in God knows since that, probably since that video, if not the Windows 8 developers preview. But yeah, it's been a while. See you guys.